So Keith, which wild card has the best shot at winning the World Series? Mm. LGM. Let's go Mets. <laughs> of course I'm going to go Mets. New York, you New York. Yeah. This is a 101 win team. This is a team that was this close to winning their division, but it slipped at the end of the year. They've got so much motivation to shut people up, prove people wrong, but forget all of that. They have the two top guys, right? Scherzer, DeGrom at the top. If you look at their pitching, it lines up for them to make a run. If you look at the guys that they have in their lineup, if those guys hit, they can make a run. They have to make a run to get Starling Marte back. Yeah. I'm going with the Mets. They should be the number one wild card team. They were this close to being a division winner. What a difference a couple of days make. <laughs> I remember what we were talking about on Monday and Tuesday. I didn't think he was going there. Yeah, you know what? I like it, though. 101 wins. That's tough. It's, it's, it's tough to override. New York, New York, baby. It's yeah. going to be interesting, though, to see what they do in these, uh, what, games one and two, or here maybe Scherzer, game one, Just maybe first. Bassett, that's what, two. That's what makes the strategy, you know what, a little bit understandable from – a team that's looking to come out of the wild card and not just win that round, but get themselves to the World Series. You just have one travel day. That's what I'm saying. A you lot play so fewer many games. off days in this 2022 postseason. Absolutely. And I think, you know, you don't hear this me say this often, but that's why I agree with Keith. Because you look at the starting rotation. <laughs> I see what he did there. By the way, <laughs> final show of the season. Get your jabs in while you can. I look at the starting rotation, and I look at what Buck is talking about as far as starting Mad Max, who's so good in the postseason. I mean, he's a dog. We're a little bit concerned with Jacob DeGrom. We haven't necessarily seen the same guy, but I think if you give him an opportunity to maybe wait it out and start in that next division series, that gives you your best opportunity to go deep into the postseason. And say something happened, Max doesn't do a good job, you have to grom there waiting in game two or necessary game three. So I think you have an opportunity to use the depth of your rotation. And if you need to, Chris Bassett will be there. He's done an amazing job this year, as well as Taiwan Walker, if you need to go that deep. So I look at the rotation for me, and then the offense. The offense has done what they've needed to do. Guys like Francisco Lindor step, taking a step forward this year. We understand how good Pete Alonso has been. If there's any team that can come out of the wild card, it has to be the Mets. Max Scherzer, 3-2-2 two, two career postseason ERA. Yes. Experience. Experience. That's 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 he Walker. wants the ball. I remember, again, game five in the DS last year in San Francisco, he insisted yeah. on coming out of the bullpen. That's when you see, like, Mad Max is in the postseason. Like, he's just that dude. But I also look he at – He turns it up to a different level. Like, sure. from a starter standpoint, the Mets starters have had a 3.61 uh, ERA, that's second in the National League behind the Dodgers. And the foundation of postseason teams – is the starting pitching. The starters have to come out and do their job. The matchup against the Braves, I think, was not the indicator that anybody wants to see. But I think as far as you getting past the Padres first, I think you can handle that. And then I think you think about kind of what's next. It's going to be a really tough test, though. Yeah, no, absolutely. No but game is going to be You have to factor easy. the travel into the equation, though, for the Padres. And, of course, my team that I want to pick because I'm going in the complete opposite direction. Uh -oh. Logic was not a factor when I came up logic with my Cinderella not... team. Wait, is logic normally a factor? No, not really. You, you, you've known me pretty well for a full season. Yeah, logic never factors into my decisions. I, I'm closing my eyes. I'm throwing the dart at the board, and I hit the Seattle Mariners because I think mm, they're oh. going to catch lightning in a bottle. They have the star power. They have the youth, and I'm going to say this is actually on their side because sometimes you don't know what you don't know, and I think that can play <laughs> in their favor. They've won each of the last five games against Toronto. Again, I know the time change in the travel yeah. will definitely not play in their favor. There a ton of question marks, right? Like Robbie Ray's not what he was last year, marks. but going against his former team. But you still have Luis Castillo on their side. Uh, I don't know. They won 14 in a row earlier this season. All they need to do is win 13 I against like their, some of the I best like their baseball teams yes. on the planet. And, and I think the bullpen will be important when it comes to the, the going deep into the postseason as well. As well, I love their bullpen. There's one showstopper on that team, too, that I think can just take off, and that's J-Rod. Thank you. Like we've seen him do it all season long, and I think he's going to have a serious factor when it comes to this postseason. J-Rod is straight magic, and I have a feeling, hashtag believe, could come to fruition <laughs> with the Seattle Mariners, who broke, of thing. course, the longest postseason drought in the four major sports. Magical. Magical. Yes. And he, he has to step up, too, because Jesse Winker is going to be gone for at yep, least Jesse this Winker's first out. series. He's out on the IL. You look at Sam Haggerty went out, so there might be some injury issues. Guys got to take it to the next level.
Yes. They're supposed to be a team of destiny, right? They went out and got Luis Castillo. And if you look at their road, you beat Toronto, then most likely you face off a familiar opponent, the Astros. Maybe you end up facing, you know what I'm saying? Like their route, they could potentially get there. I thought you were going to make a case for your Tampa Bay Rays. No, I, I Or even the Cardinals. No, I think the Rays might have that opportunity, but when I look at the, the best team, like the, the Mets are that much better than the Rays. So I think the Mets have a better chance. I'm not saying that the Rays wouldn't be able to do it because I do have the Rays beating the Guardians and I have the Rays beating the, the Yankees at the next uh, in the division series. But let's not go too far. Listen, 12 really solid teams mm -hmm. in this 2022 postseason.